Hi everyone, my name is Michelle if you're new here, if not welcome back. Today's video is all about the new VS Sassoon Smooth and Wave tool. So this tool is very similar to the Curl Secret. You probably recognize how the barrel looks. It's very similar to the Multi Curl that I used in my last video. However, this one creates effortless smooth waves and also smooths and straightens your hair just with the flick of a switch. So it's a two-in-one tool. In this video, I will be showing you on one side of my head how I curl my hair, how I create those really on-trend, effortless beachy waves. And on the other side of my head, I'll be showing you how I create that super chic, smooth and sleek look. I'll be going through all of the ways that you use the tool. It's so simple. It's basically just the flick of a switch and you have two different tools in one. You have a very similar barrel kind of technology to the other tools and there are three three different settings on this tool in particular. So the first setting is just whether you're picking straight or waves, that's it. There are lines for the straightness and a squiggle for the curls, very self-explanatory. Pretty much everything on this tool is very self-explanatory. Then the next thing you have here are the curl directions. So you can pick left, alternate or right, left for the left side of the head, right for the right side of the head, and then the alternate ones will just have the machine choose it to go left and then right, then left and right, and left and right. Very easy. And then the last one is the heat settings. So there are three different heat settings. I like to use the third one because my hair isn't that damaged. It can take a lot of heat and it gives me the most long lasting curl. If your hair is slightly damaged, you can take down the heat a bit and that will also give you a looser wave. Pretty much everything about the Smooth and Wave is very self-explanatory, so I'm not gonna blab on for too long. I'm just going to get straight on to styling my hair and showing you how I straighten one side and how I wave the other. So as you can see, I'm going to show you on one side of my head how it does the effortless waves and on the other side of my head, how it does the sleek, smooth, straight look. Now, these curls are unbrushed. This is how they come out of the barrel. So they won't look tousled and effortless right now, but this is how they look when they come straight out of the barrel. So here is your sleek and smooth side. If you have very frizzy hair and hair that needs a good straightening, you will get such great results out of this. And these are the lovely effortless ringlety curls that when you brush out, will be really nice soft waves. So that's my bottom section done and I'm gonna talk you through my second section because we don't wanna sit here all day and talk about my whole head of hair. I'm doing my head in about three or four sections if that's helpful to you to know. And I'm just doing exactly half and half on both sides, half straight, half curly. I wonder if we could make that a look. <laughs> half head curly, half head straight. So as you can see, my natural hair in comparison to how this side is curled, is quite frizzy, it's freshly washed. I just gave it a quick run over with a blow dryer. And on this side, in comparison to the smooth section underneath, it's kind of frizzy and it's got kinks in it. So you can see the difference in my natural hair in comparison to the two different styles that you can get from this tool. So I'm gonna start on the straight side. What you wanna do is just make sure that the button is pressed up to the straightening function it's very easy to identify and also i'm going to have it on the highest heat setting because i want my hair to look really nice and sleek and smooth before i forget just a quick brush of the hair because any knots will get caught up in the barrel of the tool and we don't want that when you're straightening the hair you want to make sure that this side is facing the head but it's actually written on the tool so it's very easy to remember you want to grab a small section of hair clamp it down and then when the hair gets sucked in, you just move it down slowly. You're not waiting for any beeps as you would with the curling side of the tool. Clamp it down, hair gets sucked in, and then you just slowly move it down. So like I said, there's no beeps to be waiting for. It's much quicker than getting the curls because you're just simply smoothing and straightening the hair. Hair gets sucked in, and we move down nice and slowly. And you can see it creates a very nice kind of glossy, smooth effect on the hair. I think that's like the ceramic barrel inside that does that. You can just go over any sections that you want to make sure are really nice and sleek, or if you want to get further up to the root. I do get quite kinky roots. <laughs> kinky roots, that sounds weird. But I get quite a lot of like kinks in my roots, so I like to get right up there. And as you can see, that is perfectly smooth and straight and sleek. There's a really nice shine to my hair and it looks very, very chic. So I'm just separating the unstyled part of my hair away from the curls that I've already done. And I'm going to give that a quick brush through, because again, any knots 
and the barrel will not accept the hair. That is one of the most important points about these tools. You want to make sure that you put it to the curl setting, which is the squiggle. I'm going to do it on alternate rotations of curls. Depends on what you want, left for the left side of the head, right for the right side of the head. But when I'm doing my bottom sections, I like to do alternate kind of curls. So then it's a little bit more natural. And again, because my hair isn't damaged, I'm going to use the highest setting of heat and this will also give me the longest lasting curl. So now we're turning the barrel the other way around. You want this side facing your head. Again, it's written on the tool, so everything is very simple. I'm just going to clamp down wait for all the beeps because it's on the highest setting there are quite a few beeps to wait for but the curl you get from it is so worth it and then that kind of funny beep at the end that means that it's ready and you can see we have a perfect shiny curl absolutely gorgeous that will be so beautiful and wavy when we brush it out. So I'm just moving on to the next section. Clamp down. Hair gets sucked in. Wait for all the beeps. And then the funny beep at the end is the one where you release the curl. I'm usually watching Netflix and stuff while I'm doing this, not just like staring off into space. <laughs> There you go, another perfect curl. And as you can see, these curls are not like super springy and really tight and ringlety. They're supposed to be very soft and natural and when you brush them out, they'll create those really on-trend, effortless waves that you see, that really beachy, soft, effort effortless look. God, I can't speak. <laughs> So there we have it, another curly side and another sleek side. I'm just going to give them a quick hairspray and then move on to the top section to finish off my hair. This hairspray is from Bamboo Smooth and it is an anti-humidity hairspray, which is great for here in Australia because it gets very muggy and humid. You can even use this on the straight side to make sure that you maintain that really sleek, chic look. And don't forget, we will be brushing these out at the end. So once again, a quick brush through making sure there is no knots, making sure our settings are on the straightening mode and the highest heat mode, making sure this is the side that I have facing my head. It's written on it here. Taking a small section of hair, clamping down and moving down really slowly. And that's it. My hair isn't naturally super curly or anything, but if you have very curly or kinky hair, you will see much more impressive results on this smoothening side than what I'm showing you. I think it looks brilliant on my hair, but if you had like super frizzy, naturally curly hair, this would give you the sleekest, straightest style ever. So that is my super smooth and sleek side done. And now just to move on to finishing the curly side. So for curling the top section of my hair, I'm just brushing out those bits that might be knotted or fuzzy. And then grabbing my tool, making sure it's on the curl setting. I'm going to use the um, left curl direction setting because I'm on the left side of my head. Clapping down, hair gets sucked in, wait for the beeps. Funny beep means let go, it's so easy. I love how shiny it makes my hair as well. It just looks so healthy and I don't know, sleek. <laughs> When I'm curling on the top section of my head, I don't like to take the curls up too far. I kind of just go from like the eyebrow downwards because I don't need the lift here really. I just want the wave to start kind of from just about here downwards. So now you can see I have my smooth and sleek side. If you wanna add product to this, I would probably suggest an oil to make sure that it's really nice and sleek and a bit of hairspray. And then this side, as you can see, we have not brushed out yet. I'm going to just show you how we make the effortless waves come to life. You just drag your fingers through all of those lovely shiny curls that we've created. Just fluff up your hair. You can even turn your head upside down because obviously if you're styling your hair, it's very doubtful that you'll have one side straight and one side curly like I do. And then you can add a bit of hairspray 
or texturizing spray, whatever you think you need to keep it in place. This is just a bit more of that hairspray that I have. And you can see it's that beachy, effortless, really kind of cool girl wave. It's not overly done. It looks like you kind of just, maybe my hair is naturally like this. <laughs> I love the fact that this tool is a two in one. It's definitely a money saver instead of buying straighteners and then wavers and curlers. It's got your two in one, which is really, really handy. Which style do you prefer? I kind of can't decide because they both suit different occasions. I really, really like both results. So now as you can see, I've evened out my hair so that I'm wavy on both sides and I don't look mad with one really sleek side and one really wavy side. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you have any questions about the smooth and wave below. I really like this tool. I think it's so easy to use. It's another curling tool that will make life so much easier for you guys. You know in my last video I talked about how so many of you have the problem of curling your hair and I hope that this is just another tool that will help you solve that. It might be on your Christmas wish list now as well because it is a two-in-one you're getting a straighteners and a curlers and wavers in one very very handy I do have a little surprise for you guys I am giving away a few of the VS Sassoon smooth and wave tools over on my Instagram so if you head over there you will find out how you can possibly win one my Instagram is at Michelle Crossan underscore I will leave it on the screen in case you don't know how to spell it so make sure you go over there you can win one yourself won't even have to put it on your Christmas wish list but that is all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you again really, really soon.